Yeah, welcome back to the Sports Mag Zone. We're talking to the president of Tennis Jamaica, John Azar, and we're talking about the saga that has uh, um, taken over the sport here in Jamaica with uh, the top-ranked player Blaze Bicknell saying that John's son Daniel Azar does not deserve an automatic pick to the Davis Cup team for their tie against um, Lebanon, which is coming up September 15 and 16. Um, John, let's... Let, let's continue right away so tell us about the developmental selection how did that come about and how does that work all right so firstly i'm going to speak to developmental spot on the criteria yes that being said i'm not saying that's the spot used to select daniel to this team okay. son, daniel is on his own merit is one of the top five ranked players in jamaica mm. And I wasn't part of the decision, yes. so I'm not going to be able to say to you, this is what they used to select him on. But let's talk about Are you develop. saying that it has never been used to select him, or it was not used this time around? Well, I've never been part of the selection process when my son has been involved, so I'm not going to speak to it any at all. Okay. In the, but his, his first time on Davis Cup team, he qualified through trials mm. for the Greece tie. So developmental spots, I'll read from it very quickly. Tennis Jamaica realized the importance of exposing younger players to senior international team competitions in an event to place them in an environment which would provide them with invaluable experience and aid in their player development. This is important with succession planning in mind. This is important. It's clearly understood, therefore, a technical committee may recommend younger promising players for positions as senior national teams. With this being especially true, when the likelihood of those selected to lower positions on national teams mm -hmm. actually competing in the event is low. So those who don't understand Davis Cup or tennis may mm -hmm. think that all five players are going to play on the pitch at the same time, like football. You take 11 people on a football team, they're all playing. In this instance, most of the traffic, barring injury or something unforeseen, is going to come through mm -hmm. Blaise Bicknell and Randy Phillips as it did in the Estonia time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what we've done, and many associations do it, is you look and you're saying for let's say a fifth spot on a team, are you going to take a junior who is very promising and part of your future, you can take somebody whose best years are behind them. And I'll give you one quick thing. Yeah. As in New York yesterday, mm -hmm. as with the US Davis Cup coach, yes. they're going to Croatia next week. Yes. Do you know who they're taking as a practice partner? with the team, mm. they're taking an 18 year old, junior, as a practice part for the exact same developmental reasons. Yeah. So, 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 so let me get this clear. So you're saying, well, I, that match you, on you, screen you, you, yeah, this was the is Estonia, a live rubber is, match is, is, that is the captain played Estonia Daniel in doubles in, in yes. Kingston. So Correct. you're saying you cannot speak to whether Daniel has ever gotten or remained on the team um, through the developmental rule, is what you're saying. Yeah, what? The, if, if he hasn't ever been on the team through the developmental rule, then the question then becomes, why doesn't he play trials? And if he has gotten on through the developmental rule, the question would become, why aren't other developmental players given the opportunity um, to go up against him, to have the opportunity to earn such a spot as well. Yeah, but that's not really, a, that neither I think could be a fair question. I'll tell you why quickly. Please. If it was part of a developmental spot, there's no player within two years up or down of Daniel in age yes. who has a U UTR rating of what he has. But how, it, how would we know that? Well, well the UT, so, so the, U sorry, the, the UTR rating is, is one aspect. Um, but let's look at but, a couple but you could conceivably have a player um, who may feel, well, I don't have the UTR rating, I don't necessarily have the ITF ranking points, but I've been working hard over the last two years, my game has improved enough, and I think I could beat him and get that spot. Why shouldn't Fair. such a player be given the opportunity to go up against him if such a spot it's exists. It's a reasonable point, mm -hmm. but they do get to go up against him when they play all Jamaica junior tournaments and others. He's a number one ranked junior locally, yes. and he's ranked in the top five in seniors based on his results in all Jamaica seniors. So 
The, when the, when what, was the last All Jamaica Junior tournament? The last December. But but again, though, Ricardo, we played ITF Junior tournament here in Kingston. Yes. He's the highest ranked, world ranked junior of all Jamaican juniors. Yes. He's competed. But again, what I don't want to do, if mm -hmm. I can pause myself for a second, <laughs> sure. simply because I don't want to be here defending a selection that I didn't make. If you invite Mel Spence, <laughs> Errol Campbell, or Noel Rutherford, let them speak and defend their position. Yes. I want to speak more about a process yes. that is one that we are extremely proud of, yes. that the ITF team raked me over the coals <laughs> on Monday. But, but this is part of the process, don't you think, John? If what is? What we're speaking about now is part of the process because part of the process is trials, right? So for example, I look at the criteria and part of the criteria says that we may or may not have trials. So, so even the idea of trials is, is not a must. Um, and I can explain that very easily. Sure. So for the Costa Rica tie last year, yes. there was no trials. Yes. Spot a on. team was picked. Yes. For the Estonia tie, yes. there was no trials. Yes. A team was picked. Yes. So it's not a case where there's a default position of trials. It's actually the opposite. There's a number of criteria, it's 18 of them. You haven't mm -hmm. gotten to double specialists yet. Yes. 18 criteria. <laughs> if we're on a selection panel, and after you go through everything else, there's nothing to separate you, Lance, from Ricardo. Mm -hmm. Then the selection panel may say, let's have a match between Lance and Ricardo as trials to be the determining factor. Mm -hmm. However, if you look through that criteria, and you are clearly, clearly, more suited to be on that team than Ricardo. We have extremely qualified and competent people on that panel. So if they make a pick of you over Ricardo, mm. that's what was done in Costa Rica, Thai, and Estonia. But what I think you've missed out, which I said, Ricardo, but yeah. it's worth repeating, mm -hmm. with the exact criteria yes. and the exact pick, yes. where was the outrage prior? Where was the outrage in the last two Davis Cups? Yes. where Daniel was selected on the exact criteria, yes. where was it? Where was even the murmur? There was none. There was do, do you have any suspicions it, is, is, as to why that may have been so? I certainly do. But what, what are those? I'm not necessarily going to voice those, but <laughs> I, I, I would just simply say again, yes. Yes. it makes one wonder, mm. is the issue really about who was selected to the team, mm. or is the real issue around who was not selected to the team. But if I'm following you correctly then, um, John, given the fact that that player was forced to do trials, invited trials, to do trials, invited to do trials, and then played the trials and lost to a 42-year-old, why is the issue still on no, the table? No, 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 no. He didn't play trials. The player in question, or one of the players in question, the, let's, the player who was on the Estonia team. Yes who was invited to trials, didn't respond oh, did to the not invitation. Play the trials. And then one of the people who responded, yes. Nicholas Gore, as Ricardo said, it's almost comical. Mm -hmm. He played in the trials. Yeah. He wrote me, he thanked me so much for organizing a fantastic event and considering him. But then two days ago, I'm reading that he's now saying okay. no non-ATP player should be on the team without but, but, trials. It's but, just, but, but I guess it's he, could, he could enjoy trials and at the same time think that no non-ATP right. player could, should be excluded could, from He certainly could, but he was very happy to play. Put it that way. <laughs> he was extremely happy to take part in the trials and grateful to have been invited. Mm. So what it was in this instance, mm. the technical panel felt four players stood out who were the same, four of the five who were on the Estonia team. Yes. They felt they warranted automatic picks in keeping the criteria. Yeah. And they didn't see a standout but, 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 for position five. But, 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 but here, here's where I'm going again, John. Should Tennis Jamaica get to a stage where you always have trials, especially in a case where all five players are not ATP ranked? And, and I ask that question because you, you pointed out that 
there were no murmurs before when certain individuals were on the team and now that a certain individual is off the team, then you have murmurs. But I'm isn't not saying it's because of that, but it, it, is, it is a fact. It's coincidental. It, coinc it coincides correct, with that. Correct, correct. But isn't that in and of itself an issue? Mm -hmm. Because what is happening is that you have a situation where before, no issue, and that was within the criteria. And now you have a situation where those are, where individuals are having issues, and some would say some of them are debatable as well. No, it's still clearly within the criteria. The pick is the exact same, there's no variance to it. Mm. It's the same criteria and the same pick. Yeah. What I would say to you is this, when you look at it, let's take the US Davis Cup team again, just as, a, as an example. Yes. Last night, Ben Shelton defeated Francis Tiafo. Yes. TFO was selected, captain's pick, coach's pick, to the Davis Cup team. Yes. Ben Shelton wasn't. Yes. At the end of the day, just like you would with a football team, I'm taking a squad of 25. Yes. Rest assured, there's a 26th player who thinks they should be on the squad. That's not unusual. It's not unusual for people to express that. What's unusual in this instance, and unfortunate from my perspective, as we've lost three major sponsorship deals over this, is the manner in which it's been expressed. Yes. The player was invited in, mm -hmm. he met with the captain, the concerns were listened to, he had his representative, yeah. and then all of a sudden yeah. we've been dealing with a publicist all John, over John, the Rica press media. Ricardo asked you something earlier on, and I want to be clear on this, because you have been very wide-ranging in the Tennis Jamaica's position and how this is. I'm not sure, I heard you on radio some weeks ago defending the position. But I'm not sure in that interview that I heard on radio that you were as explanatory as you are today on the I sports, wasn't. On the I sports wasn't. map zone. I wasn't. And it almost sounded as if you were arrogant to the extent that you didn't think that you should be arguing over this. And that's how it came across. Today, you are a lot more explanatory and more detailed in how the selection process is and how the four were automatic selections than I heard you on that day. I don't think as, as at my best that day, I'm going to tell you why. I wouldn't agree as arrogant, yes. but I think I stayed totally clear of anything to do with even calling my son's name. I want to speak to the process, and I was simply saying to them, speak to the people who made the pick. It's very frustrating for me. The captain is Blaze, his coach. He's traveling with him now in Turkey. He's with him every day. He tells me he's gone over this time and time again with him. He hasn't reached out to the manager. Yeah. He hasn't reached out to the so coach. So are you saying, are you saying Mel Spence, who coaches Blaze Bicknell, is frustrated with Blaze Bicknell? No, I can't say that at all. I can but say it sounds, I'm it sounds that way. No, no, no. I can say I'm frustrated. But what I think I did not do very well, I'll be frank with you, yes. is go through that it's the same team, the nucleus is the right. same team. Yes. And I'll tell you again, which I told Ricard at the beginning, I think I've been constrained and I'll tell you why. My style is very decisive. If this involved a player other than my son, I say without any apology, I think I would have shut this down within a maximum of 24 hours. A maximum. When you say shut this down, what shut do you it mean? Down. What do you mean? Shut it down clearly. How? How? I would have been involved with getting the player involved, making the accusations together with his teammate who is publicly bashing and said this doesn't work in team sports. This is not how our team operates. We talk as a team behind closed doors, bashing a teammate in public doesn't happen. I'd have gone further to say, continue the behavior and you're gonna have a problem. Because to be able to play and represent Jamaica, players need to be in good standing with the National Association. Mm -hmm. I recuse myself of everything with it because I don't want to be it to be seen that because I'm attacked or my son is attacked, I'm now coming on a counter-offensive. But the behavior in my mind has been most unfortunate and, dare I say, unheard of. Mm. I'm sure there are players on the Women's World Cup team, just as a recent example, yeah. who may not have been happy that the coach started this person at left back or somewhere I wanted Sidney Schneider and goal. People have their opinions and nothing is wrong with that. But players don't go through publicists to bashing association one week before we're departing 
for a crucial Davis Cup tie. It's not good for team chemistry. Mm -hmm. And I'm hopeful, though, when these guys get together, yeah. it's magic. Yeah. They're good together. And I'm hoping that that's how it's going to be in Lebanon come Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all hoping that as well and, and that Jamaica can create history in the Davis Cup. Um, but I want to get from you, would you consider going forward making any changes to the criteria uh -huh. as it is? And, and if you can give me that answer in 10 seconds. A hundred percent, yes. We're always looking at tweaking our processes. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that the captain, coach, and manager have insisted needs to be in our next criteria mm -hmm. is code of conduct for players. Mm -hmm. For sure. No question <laughs> about it. And as I say again, last, last word, it wouldn't have lasted 24 hours if I wasn't handcuffed yes. and felt unable to uh, act uh, in a uh, manner I the normally As the detractors are suggesting, John, would you consider that only three positions are automatic on any Davis Cup team or only persons with ATP ranking points are automatic and that any and everybody else has to go through trials? The technical panel have looked at it is not a position they agree with at all. And certainly our... How about you, John Azar, as the president? Do you agree with that position? John Azar as president, not the technical committee now. I'll have to give it some thought. I think that I think the reality of it is there are certain spots such as doubles, you didn't touch on it, Yes. that I may not be ATP ranked. I may be the best doubles player on the team. Yes. And the technical panel needs to have some level of flexibility within the guidelines mm -hmm. where they can select a team that they're comfortable and confident traveling with. Mm -hmm. Just like a football coach would, mm -hmm. just like a cricket coach would. And let's be clear again, yes. Errol Campbell, Mel Spence and Noel Rutherford have doubled down on the picks of the four players they selected to include yes. young 18-year-old so, Daniel so on, Azar. On, on this team then, who would be the specialist doubles player? Because there are those who feel that the 42-year-old probably is the best option to play doubles given his style of play and his volleying ability and his big serve. His big first serve. Ricardo, you need to invite Errol, Noel, or Mel back. I can't discuss technical stuff with you. I will say it to well, you. Well, you started, Chad. I will, I will, no, what I'm saying is there's some things I can't discuss. I will say it to you. When you played Estonia and the coach decided to play John Chin and Daniel, I, find out, I found out about it 10 minutes before the match. I don't interfere with stuff that doesn't concern me. John Azar. The president of Tennis Jamaica, it's been a pleasure chatting with you on Tennis Matters. I suspect that even after the Davis Cup tie against Lebanon, this won't go away. But we'll see. Hopefully, the Davis Cup team will do well. Blaze has been in brilliant form. Randy has always done brilliantly for the country. John Chin has been improving tremendously. And so we'll see what happens in Lebanon. We have to end it there. We'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone.